Okay, now we have our countertop in the Arctainer. We're going to put some wooden panelling on the back wall, hide the Arctainer and start to build our display case on top. So select the back. This is a nice straightforward part to start, so sketch on there. I'm going to draw a rectangle, making sure that the rectangle is the full size of that back panel. So we're trying to get right into the corner there and tick. If you notice when we hover over the corners we get a circle and a square in orange and that's just telling you you've locked into that corner which is perfect. We'll tick that extrude as a new part and we want to select sketch 21 making sure it stays on new up there as well we only want that to be 10 millimeters thick very thin just some wooden paneling to add an aesthetic detail to our design click tick and good habits remember we're going to rename the part down at the bottom which is wooden paneling that first part is done we can actually change the appearance of that straight away as well so we can see what we're working with make sure it's looking nice all the way through and click tick so we can see our architecture is really starting to come together so let's hide the architecture itself and we're going to work on top of the counter now so up on here click the I button on the architecture we've got the wooden paneling and the countertop so we're just going to put a display case on the side here on this side so if we draw if we rotate this round click on this side I'm going to start a sketch we'll look at it from the left so we can figure out this sketch quite nicely I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle we're going to line it up with the front edge of the display case and it's going to go towards the back there we'll add dimensions to it bearing in mind we know the countertop is 700 high we don't really want this going too high maybe to one and a half meters maximum somewhere around there so if we make it 600, it's going to give us plenty to work with and you can still reach onto the top fairly easily. Okay, the depth of this, the depth of the counter was 400. We don't want it quite going all the way. So let's make that just 300 for the display case. We also want a sloped front to this because most display cases have them. We're going to go from the bottom right corner to the top there. And it just means you can see more of what's in the bottom and the top's not going to impair that view so it's making it a little bit more ergonomic we're not going to chop any of these lines away this time we're just going to finish our sketch there and we're going to extrude that now as it is part the way along so we're going to click extrude if we select sketch 22 here it's going to extrude the whole rectangle so we actually want to click just on that shape the arrow is pointing the wrong way so i'm going to flip that to the other side and now we're going to extrude it for about a metre and a half, 1500 millimetres. And you can see that going along now quite nicely. What I will then do is make sure it is a new part. We can finish that and rename as our display case. Okay. You can see the colour, everything at the moment is a little bit horrible. So we can kind of ignore it. We're going to shell it now though because we want it empty and we want to be able to reach into the back here. So if we select our shell option at the top, you use this originally in your architecture. We're going to leave the outside around 15 millimeters thick and we want it coming through this surface here and click tick. Okay, still not looking much of a di display case because we want glass in it. So we're going to turn this shell now slowly into a bit more of a frame and to start that we're going to draw on this side look at it from the left as well zoom in just because we're working on that one side only and we're going to sketch our shape into that we want a border around this of about 15 again so if we draw our rectangle in here and then add some dimensions in so on a gap from this edge of 15 millimeters so click down type in 15 and you can see that gap's working. We want to do the same from the top. Now we want to do the same from the bottom as well. The next part is matching up this angled line. So at first we're just going to measure the distance from this line to the point. We can't do the line because it's an angle. That would give us an angled answer. We want to do it to that point. That distance needs to be 15 as well. We're then going to draw from here down into that corner before then dimensioning this point to just close that sorry that's not letting me go there so we're going to have to draw something on this line here 
So if I draw a second line just up to here where it intersects, that's giving me two points I should be able to measure between. So if I measure from there to this point, I'm going to make this 15. And you can see now that's a nice parallel line there. So that's given us exactly what we want. So we can finish that sketch, extrude, and again click it on this work plane here, not from your list. So we want extruding in there. So let's click extrude again. We've got face 23 selected. We want to flip it the other way. So it's going through. We're going to make it a remove. And this time we're going to go through all. So we're going to change blind through all. So we don't have to put any dimensions in. It's just going to go straight the way through our display case. And then we can click tick to finish that. So that part is finished. We now need to repeat that on the top and on the front of our display case before we then put a shelf into it as well. And then we'll add the glass panels and make it look all nice. So let's click on the top, start a new sketch on there, and we'll look at it from the top to make it a little bit easier. And remember, this is the angled side here. The top is just the smaller rectangle. So we'll fit that into the middle. We're going to draw our rectangle roughly in the centre. Dimensions, and we're going to make it 15 from all of the edges. And just work your way around. So we've done it from the top from the left, the right, and then we've only got one more to do. So it is a little bit time consuming, but well worth putting it in because having them even gaps all the way around does make it look really good in the end. So we'll finish that sketch there, rotate it so we can see what it looks like in 3D when we start to extrude. Extrude, select the square on your drawing, or the rectangle on your drawing, sorry, flip the arrow and select remove. Okay. We don't want to go through all because we want to leave the base intact. We don't need to see through the base. And we'll click tick on there. So you can see it's starting to create our frame for our display case. And it's quite a complicated part now. The last one is the front here. So let's click on the front. And again, we're going to sketch, drawing a rectangle roughly in the middle. And if you notice when I draw these, that one's not going very nice. We're going to escape that, delete it and redraw it. We're going to draw it roughly where we want it. So we try and get it as close to what we want um, at the end. And then when you add in the dimensions, it shouldn't jump around and move too much. If you draw it miles off, then it will jump around loads and loads. Even this one's jumped around quite a lot as we started to change the dimensions. But luckily it stayed accurate enough for us to work with. And we're drawing that one in there, 15. So we've got our 15 gap all the way around. Click tick extrude, we're getting very familiar with this now, click it on the drawing, flip the arrow and we want to remove. Okay, making sure it's going all the way through that front face, but also making sure on this one it's not cutting into our base here, because if we go too far on here, we're going down at an angle, we would actually end up cutting into the base. So if I just shuffle that to 100, you can see it cuts into the base here, we don't want that. So let's just make sure we're going through, say 20 mil will be more than enough and click tick. And now when we have a look at this in here, you can see it has created a slightly funny part here. So I'm going to edit my sketch to get rid of it. So the gap at the bottom, instead of this being 15 from the bottom, I'm going to change that to 25. So it's a slightly thicker cabinet at the bottom than it is at the rest. And that's just because of the angle. And then it gives us that much better look, the much better aesthetic on our cabinet. And you can see our cabinet starting to take shape and look really good. So I'm just going to shuffle that to the middle and look at it from a nicer angle. And our display case is coming good. We just want to put a shelf into this really now. And this is another nice trick with the software. We just need a bar across the centre here and this side. Um, we're going to draw them separately to save creating a work plane and mirroring. And it's not going to take, hopefully, too long. So we're going to click on this thin surface in here. So just zoom out so you can see which one I've selected. And then we're going to sketch. Okay, I'm going to draw a square, and I'm going to snap it to the middle. So I'm drawing a square slightly on top of the middle. Zoom right in so you can see nice and easily. I'm snapping to this line here. It's 15 wide. Dimension it so it's 15 high. And that will make it a nice square. Yeah. Click tick, and we're going to extrude that through. So I select the square on. And if we drag this all the way now, it's going to come slightly through the top here. So we don't want that. We're going to select, instead of blind, we're going to just go up to next. And it'll, it'll extrude that up to that angled surface 
and we can finish. Okay, so fairly straightforward in creating that bar going across. And we'll repeat, repeat the same over on this side. So click on that surface, sketch, and we'll draw a square in, snapping to the points. Dimension that at 15. And then finish your sketch, extrude. And if you remember, we changed blind to say up to next. Select the square, and it'll shoot it across all the way to there. Finish that, zoom out, and your display case is very much nearly finished now. We'll add some glass into that and change the colour in the next tutorial, as well as looking at what we can do underneath the cabinet around the back to make that look really professional as well. Good luck.